We have heard reports of a shooting incident at Port St. John's in the Eastern Cape, which allegedly brought the small town to a standstill. An eyewitness on the ground who spoke to the SABC says that heavily armed men allegedly entered the town and started shooting at the taxi rank. So for the latest now, let's cross our report on Gololeko Nyambezi in Port St. John's. Gololeko, at this point, perhaps you could give us an update as to where you are and what is uh, what information um, is transpiring or are you hearing as we speak? Gululeko, if you can hear me earlier on, we did. Yes. All right. Um, perhaps you could just give us an update um, as to where you are and, and what information is um, coming through as we speak. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I can hear you. We are in Port St. John's here in the Eastern Cape, in the small town of Port St. John's. This is where uh, this uh, uh, chaos and uh, uh, chaotic situation that took place uh, uh, this afternoon, whereby uh, 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 three cars, three vehicles that were allegedly carrying uh, security guards were just all uh, came and all allegedly opened fire uh, to the people here in the, in the taxi rank. But we understand that uh, uh, three bodies who are now still here on the scene. As you can see that uh, there's a, a mini box here, a bus here which was uh, tossed and uh, there's a park here on the other side and then a, a, a small car or maybe a sedan car which was also tossed. The situation is very tense and we are told that uh, no one is allowed to enter the small town of Port St. John's uh, simply because the situation is very bad. But now I'm joined by the secretary or the spokesperson of Port St. John's Taxi Association Mr. Lusiba. Mr. Lusiba for so you must be very shocked as the taxi association. Yes, uh, we are so worried about this situation. Uh, the people are panicking because there is a loss of life which is involved in this kind is this carnage kind of that happened today. So what actually happened? What happened here? We heard that there are people that were around Lusigisiki, Porter John, sorry. Uh, they were driving these vehicles that were there. So when we were in the office, there when we came out, we heard a noise, a bang that was coming from outside. And when we checked, there was a firing of the shots. So at that time, they, they, they took a long time. Uh, firing, which is uh, the firing, fire, firing, where people were in, were in, were killed when they were, when they were shot. Four people were shot, and the others, we, we, these are the ones that are here in the floor. So, is this uh, incident related to taxi violence here? Yeah, because see, last week we were here, and then we were covering a story about uh, three uh, taxi drivers that were gunned down uh, allegedly by some people from uh, uh, from one of the association. Can you just maybe uh, confirm that to us, maybe? I can confirm because there are taxis that are here that shows that it is taxi-related violence. So that's why I think I, I'm saying it is taxi related violence. So are you trying maybe to, uh, is there any means that you are doing to make sure that at least you broke a peace between two associations as a secretary of uh, Post and Jones? Is there, are there any talks that are going on to iron out these differences, if there are differences? Yes, uh, the, the talks, we started with the talks before, but they did not yield the results. So now I think what we, we as Bossa Jones are waiting for, we thought that uh, the higher people can come to, to Bossa Jones and solve this problem because if the two people are fighting, there must be some point who is a mediator in that situation. Since then, since the, the, the shooting in Pando, there was nothing. It is still, we are still staying as if nothing happened. That's why we thought that the government will send people from different levels so that these things must be resolved soon. So let's talk about the root cause of uh, this taxi violence. What is it all about? Uh, it is about the route that is from Tambalala to Posset Jones. It's where it started. Uh, there was an infighting between who must carry the passengers from Tambalala to Lusigisiki and who must carry the passengers from Tambalala to Port St. John's. It's where it started. 
so there was a, a quarrel over there, but we had talks to iron it, but it didn't, it didn't yield results. So it, I think it started there. It started there about this road from, from Tamalal. So what will happen? How is the situation inside the town here? Because we are not allowed to go inside. Can you just maybe paint us a picture of what? You, yeah. How is the situation inside the town? Uh, all shops are closed. The town is empty. The people are fleeing for their lives because the shots were fired uh, randomly. That's why we, we say that it is not safe to, to come to passengers because there's a lot of uh, people that are panicking. Everybody is panicking because the taxis are not going. Everything is just it, it is stand still. Oh, yes, uh, indeed, uh, the situation is very bad. As he is saying, Mr. Siba is saying that uh, even here in town it is empty and no one is allowed to get inside the town.